All right, so we're back with another Pro Tools quick tip. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to export a single audio clip from your Pro Tools session for whatever reason that may be. So maybe you've just you know recorded some uh, Foley tracks in your session and you don't have those audio files anywhere and you would like to add them to um, your own personal sound effects library. Well, this is a good reason why you might wanna do this or maybe you just want to rework uh, a specific audio clip in another software and you need to have just access to that one audio clip. So it's actually a, a little bit more complex than exporting the mix or bouncing the mix. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get that done in as little time as possible. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna locate your clip the clip that you want to export. So in this case, let's say we want to export this one. I click on it, I select it. Then you want to open your clip list, which you can do by clicking on the arrow at the top right corner of your edit window and selecting clip list. So once you enable that, you can see over here the clip I selected on the timeline is highlighted in the clip list. So if I unselect it, you can see that this is in fact the right clip in the clip list. And once you get a grasp of the clip that you want to export, you just want to right click it and you're going to want to do export clip as files. So this step might be a little bit intimidating because you have a lot of options. So I'm just going to run you through everything to make sure that you know exactly what you're exporting. In this case, WAVE is the preferred format. Uh, and in regards to this, you'll have the choice between multiple mono or interleaved. In this case, it's just a mono file, so it, it's it's fine to leave it as is. But if you were exporting a stereo file, I recommend using interleave. That way it exports just one file and not two individual mono files. That's basically what that means. In regards to bit depth, 24 bit is gonna be your you know your default, like for, for the most part, except if you're working with dialogue that was recorded. Uh, by a sound mixer and you have the original audio files that aren't compressed, you might want to choose 32-bit float. That way you have access to all that additional dynamic range. So if ever the, the audio is clipping or anything like that, you can actually still salvage it and you know, like it won't compress it as is. So that's important to keep in mind. Sample rate, uh, if you're you know working in film and TV, you wanna set it to 48 kilohertz because that's most likely what it was recorded in but Pro Tools sets it to 44.1 by default. So be mindful of that one as well. And the last thing you wanna do, and this is only if you're gonna be exporting an audio file to the audio files folder in your, pro, in your project folder, which I'm not really sure why you would do that unless you actually wanted to consolidate an audio file and replace the, the, the old or the original. Well, in that case, you would click replacing with new files. So you can do that if you're doing that. For the most part, it will not uh, end up doing anything, but if you wanna be safe, you can actually just do auto renaming. That way, if there are two uh, audio files with the same name, it'll just you know rename the second one so it doesn't override it. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And obviously pick your location and you'll be able to export that one audio file from Pro Tools. So. I hope that you got what you were looking for in this video. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more Pro Tools quick tips just like this one.